Welcome back to the West Quad Gymnasium here at Brooklyn College, New York, as we are getting set to go for the second half of the doubleheader between the Brooklyn College Bulldogs and the College of Staten Island Dolphins. As we're getting set to go. We're going to go through the starting lineup, starting with the College of Staten Island Dolphins. Number four, Frank Satino, guard, 5'11", sophomore from Staten Island, New York, went to Moore Catholic High School. Number 10, Will Fonseca, the forward six foot five junior from Staten Island, New York, went to Susan Wagner High School. Number 20, Kari Rollick, the forward six foot two junior from Long Island, New York, went to Baldwin High School. Number 22, Eden Brasic, the forward six foot three freshman from St. Louis, Missouri, went to Parkway North High School. And number 42, Thomas Delahanty, the center six foot eight junior from Staten Island, New York, went to Moss Signer Farrell High School. Now we're getting set to go for the men's Bulldogs, and this is gonna be a strong starting lineup as always, starting with number one, Jai Kelman, the guard six foot one senior from Brooklyn, New York, went to Westinghouse High School. Number five, now he's wearing the number five jersey, not the number four, Fallon Jambalik, the center six foot eight senior from Brooklyn, New York, went to FDR High School, and it's very possible he might be limited in this game. He was limited in the last game, but nonetheless, there are backups for him. Number 12, Lorenzo Williams, forward six foot four junior from Brooklyn, New York, went to South Shore High School. Number 15, Jamel Gist, guard six foot junior from Brooklyn, New York, went to Newsom High School. And rounding it up, the MVP for this team, number 23, Exxon Jambalai, dubbed the Exxon Express by our own Jonathan Pariente. The guard, six foot two junior from Brooklyn, New York, went to FDR High School, and he is three points away from a thousand. You know, you have to look at just the great career Exxon has had. This season has been his turning point of his entire career. Rich McAuliffe has allowed him to play like himself, let him play his game, and Exxon has carried this team consistently this year, averaging 17 points per game, and for him to be closing in on a record-setting 1,000 career point, a mark that Coach McAuliffe himself reached back in the 1980s, it's got to be a really feel-good moment for Exxon, and it will be alive and electric once he reaches that 1,000-point mark. Head coach Rich McAuliffe, his first season as head coach for the Bulldogs, and he is a Brooklyn College alum, class of 1985. His number 24 hangs up, not in the rafters, but on the wall as one of the three retired numbers. And he held that record of 1,700 plus points for a very long time. Up until 2010 when Richard Jean-Baptiste broke the record just five years ago. And it's very funny we bring up five years ago because that is the last time the men's Bulldogs ever beat CSI. That's the last time the men's Bulldogs defeated CSI was during the playoffs. So the men's Bulldogs come into this meeting really wanting to show to CSI that they're a different team. And you gotta give credit to Tony Potosa how he's turned around this CSI team. And Will Fonseca, and you saw him shaking hands right there with Exxon Jambalage and how he's led this team in the course of the five seniors that left last year. All eyes are on number 23, Exxon Jambalai, as he's going to set, he's set for opening tip-off against number 10, Will Fonseca. Everybody's set to go. It's alive here at the West Quad Gymnasium. You're watching Brooklyn College Bulldogs basketball on BCTV, your home for everything Bulldogs, and we're underway. Tip is won by the Bulldogs, and Jai Kelman was able to keep the ball in play as Jamel Gist is gonna bring the ball for the Bulldogs. Hands it off to Jambalai going for the quick shot, but nope, hands it off to, to, Willi to Lorenzo Williams instead. Jambalik inside the paint, back to Williams. Williams for three, shot no good. Jambalik almost got the rebound, but Delahanty is gonna take over for the Dolphins. Satino, Frank Satino brings it up, quick play into the paint, it's Fonseca and he makes the basket. That's a good tic-tac-toe play by CSI. You had Delahanty setting up Will Fonseca in the left low post. Jamel Gist brings the ball for the Bulldogs. Already opening minute in this first half and the Dolphins with the two nothing lead. Jambalik back to Gist. Gist holding over to Jambalai. Jambalai looks to make a play, still holding. 16 seconds of the shot clock. Jambalai in the paint, now out to Kelman. Kelman going to side to side, goes to, gets it over to Gist. Nine seconds to go. Gist for a shot is no good, but there's a foul on the play. Good play there by Jamel Gist, not quitting on the play, drawing the foul. And this is one of the good free throw shooters if you're the men's Bulldogs that you want at the line. Foul's going against Frank Chitino. That'll be his first. And let's take a look at this play. Just look at the beautiful pass from Delahanty right down low to set up Fonseca, who's just having an amazing year. First shot by Jamel Gist is no good. 
So he may be good for the Bulldogs, but as of right now, he is 0-1 at the charity strike. Bulldogs are eighth in free throw shooting this season. Second shot is no good, and Delahanty is able to take the rebound for the Dolphins. Frank Satino brings the ball up court. Everybody set up, throws it out to number 22, Brasic. Brasic almost uh, went for a shot, but instead gets it off to Satino. Satino, cross court pass to Brasic. Brasic is, his, uh, pronounced, is how you pronounce his name. Rolick for three, shot no good, and Jabalik able to get the rebound. Now everybody's hearts are racing. Every time John Belay has the ball, wondering what he's gonna do, throws it over to Williams. Williams, quick shot, no good. Gets it again, this time he makes the basket. Beautiful finish there by Lorenzo Williams. You gotta give props to Pops as Eight. the Bulldogs tied it too. 18-22 to go, all tied up at two apiece. Satino with, for the Dolphins, being guarded by Jai Kelman. Satino throws it out to number 20, Rollick. Now Satino, top of the key. Break it, back to uh, Satino. Rollick gets it into uh, Fonseca, who can't make a basket, and now the Bulldogs take over. Jai Kelman. Hands it off to Jablai. Jablai looking to drive in, shot, and no good. Delahanty is able to get the rebound for the Dolphins. Satino still with the ball, looking to drive in. Quick spinorama shot is in. Gets the friendly roll, and now the Dolphins are up 4-2. to two, With 17.42 to go in this first half. Jamel Gist for the, Dol for the Bulldogs. Looking to sack out Satino. Hands it off to Jablai for three. He makes the basket! Welcome to the Thousand Point Club by Exxon Jambalai. Beautiful job by Exxon. He's come a long way, has reached the 1,000 point clip. And he'll get recognition at the next stop of play. Meantime, breaking with the shot is no good, out of bounds. And here we go. Congratulations to Exxon Jambalai for reaching the Thousand Point Club. That's got to feel very good for Exxon. There you see Jai Kelman giving him a high five. Let's take a look at that play that got Exxon his 1,000 point. You see teammates giving him a hug on the court, and this is a tremendous accomplishment for a guy that really turned his career around this year, and he has become just a great leader for Coach McAuliffe and the entire men's Bulldogs team. He has been a tremendous uh, player for this team. We've seen him filling in for other 1,000-point players like Emil John and Tyshawn Russell and Kayvon Baker and Jeffrey Noel. This team would be lost without Exxon. Absolutely. You can, here it is, the play. Just a very typical Exxon three-point shot wide open and just nailed it. And that's gotta feel quite good for Exxon as this game goes on. Now we got, he got over the thousand point. Absolutely. Huh? Now play resumes, <laughs> so still have a whole game to go. Coach McAuliffe, he is smiling. But we know that Exxon needs about seven to 800 more uh, points to go until he can beat his coach. <laughs> Absolutely. Jamel Gist for the Bulldogs, gets it over to Jumbalik, back to Gist. Gist fakes a shot. Back to Jumbalik being guarded heavily by Delahanty, and they're gonna call an offensive foul on Jumbalik. Good move there by Jumbalik, but got away with a little bit of a hit. Called against Jumbalik, it's his first, and we'll be back to CSI. Three minutes have gone by in this first half. Five to four, Bulldogs leading. Frank Satino throws it to Fonseca. Back to Satino. Now Fonseca throws it to break it. Bray kick still holding, be guarded heavily by Gist, but throws it back out to Satino. 15 seconds of the shot clock, Bray kick in the corner. Now back to Rowlick. Rowlick looking to drive in, shot no good. He's able to get his own rebound, almost lost it to uh, Jean Belay. Delahanty bounce pass to number 10, Fonseca. Fonseca being double teamed, and he's losing the ball in the paint to Jean Balik. And now Jai Kelman's able to push the ball up court. Lorenzo Williams for the Bulldogs. Quick shot, and he makes the basket. Nice work by Lorenzo Williams, and his team was up seven to four. This is gonna be, I think, a very high scoring game. Both these teams are in the top two in points per game in Cuniac. 16.08 to go in this first half. Break kick back to Satino. Satino for three. Shot no good. Williams able to corral the rebound for the Bulldogs. Now Jamel Gist brings the ball up court. Gist throws it to Kelman. Kelman for three. Shot no good. He's able, almost got it. Now he does get his own rebound but they're gonna call a foul on the play as he collided with Rollick, and they're gonna call the foul on Rollick of the Dolphins. That was a hard hit by Kahari Rollick, who went right down to the floor. He's kind of clutching his jaw a little bit, but he's back up. It'll be the first on Rollick as the Bulldogs will inbound, not on and that was the a big, And that was a big rebound, too. It really was. 
You got to like the way both these teams are attacking. Let's take a look at this shot here by Jai Kelman. He just stole it away from Rollick, and then the foul was called. It was just a good play by Jai keeping it alive. So Jai Kelman's going to inbound the ball in front of the Dolphins bench. And head coach uh, Tony Petoza is speaking with one of the officials. I think the, uh, I think the coach is not happy with, uh, with some of the calls. He wasn't happy on the Rollick foul at all. Play resumes. Kelman inbounds the ball to John Balik and hands it back to Kelman. So he's going to let his team set up. Fresh shot clock, 15.43 to go. John Balai, quick shot inside the paint, makes the basket. Jai Kelman now trying to catch up. Quick to the pitches and play, breaking. Blocked by Jabalai. And now Williams is going to push the ball off court real quick. And there's going to be a whistle. They're going to call a double dribble on Lorenzo Williams. So quick play back and forth, but now it's going to slow down the Dolphins ball. That's what you expect, though. Both these teams are very high, very high speed teams, very capable of knocking down points in a hurry. So Exxon Jabalai with that last basket for the Bulldogs, now at 1,002. We're not going to be able to keep count. <laughs> Satino for the Dolphins. Throws across court to break it. Fires for three. Shot no good. Lorenzo Williams able to get the rebound. Jamel Gist pushing forward. Gets Rollick. Gets away from him. Shot makes the basket. Nice work by Jamel Gist. And a timeout is going to be called by Coach Petosa of the Dolphins with 15.02 to go. 30 second timeout. Bulldogs leading 11 to 4. You gotta like how the Bulldogs are taking it to CSI early. This is kind of a rewind of their last meeting. And you have to love the way that Exxon's been able to take over the game. Let's go to the huddle. We're gonna set McCallif. it to Coach McAuliffe. Let's see what he has to say to his team. Behind you, okay? All right, Check let's keep place. talking. Hey. Keep it. Yeah, don't drop it here. All right, hey, let's go elbow down next time. We can go inside out if you don't have it, all right? Let's go. Hey, hey, right here, 52. Look at him to see, all right, I'm going to be calling the play. So once you hear me say something, then I'm going to immediately send it to you guys, and they're going to have to run it. That's just being a good court general there for Rich McAuliffe, really getting his guys on the same page. Frank Satino hands it off to break it. Break it. Now almost lost it to number 24, Vincent DeCunto, who's now in play for the Dolphins. Scramble, Delahanti being triple teamed underneath the basket. They're going to call a jump ball, but it's going to be possession Dolphins. Got to like how the Bulldogs, though, got up on Delahanti, the big six foot eight center out of Monsignor Farrell High School. So it's going to be 15 seconds on the shot clock for CSI to make a play as Frank Satino looks to inbound the ball and gets it a break kick. Kerry Rollick is the, was subbed out for the Dolphins. Fonseca's uh, shot is no good. Foul will be called on the Bulldogs, and that will send Fonseca to the free throw line. He's about a 60% shooter from the free throw line for CSI. So Fonseca's going to line up. We're going to see Anis Nikovic for the, Do for the Bulldogs come in place. By the looks of it, he'll come in place of Valon Jabalik. Jabalik was limited in the last game against Lehman with a, a lingering injury. So Anis Nikovic in recent games has been getting a lot of minutes. He is. They are also Cousins, right? Absolutely. Uh, Jambalik and, uh, and Exxon are cousins, yes. Not Nikovic. Not Nikovic. Okay, no. my apologies. Nikovic is the number, where's number 32 center, six foot nine, senior for Brooklyn, New York, went to Midwood High School. Play resumes. Adele Hotz is able to intercept the pass by the Bulldogs. Miscommunication. Ball goes out of bounds, so it's going to be Bulldogs' ball. I don't know where Jacunto was throwing that pass, but the Bulldogs got back very quickly and were able to force a turnover. 14.33 to go in this first half. Bulldogs leading 11 to 5. Jamel Gist for the Bulldogs. Hands it off to Nikovic. Now Gist. Gist holding. Throws it to Lorenzo Williams. Looking to make a play. Drives, fires, shot. It's good. Nice work by Jamel Gist. It's the Bulldogs leading 13 to 5. 14.10 to go in this first half. He did a great job setting up Lorenzo Williams for that open shot. Break it, holding, being guarded by Gist. Throws it to Satino, top of the key. Satino back to break it. The break it is moving around, he hands it off to Takuto. Takuto, long court pass from Satino to break it. Now Takuto, top of the key. Dolphins doing a good job moving the ball around. Fonseca, quick shot, makes the basket. 1340, 13.42 to go in this first half. 13 to seven, Bulldogs leading. 
That's how dangerous Fonseca is. You give him an open lane, he can drive right to the basket. Jamel Giz blocked by Delahanty, but they're gonna call a blocking foul on Thomas Delahanty of the Dolphins. It's a good play though by Jamel Giz drawing the foul, and it will send, that'll be the first foul, not in the act of shooting. But you know, you gotta love the depth on this CSI team. You replace Dylan Bolger, who was 6'11", with a 6'8", center in Delahanty. We'll get to more of it in just a sec. Jamel Giz with the ball for the Bulldogs. Shouting out orders, trying to get uh, his teammate Jai Kelman to move to the opposite end. Gets hands it off to Nikovic, who looked to pass it to Kelman, but stripped by Delahanty. And now Satino for the Dolphins, gonna bring the ball to court. Satino throws it to breaking. Inside the paint is Fonseca, and he makes the quick basket. Will Fonseca right there, very dangerous for the Dolphins. And now he's cut the deficit down to four. Lorenzo Williams. Long court pass to Jai Kelman. Kelman tried to get away from his defender, but it loses the ball. That was DeCuto. And now Frank Satino brings the ball up court for the Dolphins. Satino being double teamed now, but now uh, Kelman backs off. Satino's able to get away from his defenders. Katu, Katu, uh, excuse me, DeCuto hands off to Satino. Shot is gonna be no good. They're gonna call a foul on, calling it on Nistakovic. Steven Diaz is now checking into the game. He will replace Jai Kelman. Let's take a look at the play once more. Play resumes. Delahanty throws it to Breakick, top of the key. Now Satino. Satino gets it into uh, Fonseca, who can't get a good shot off. Ball goes out of bounds, and it's going to be Bulldogs' ball. I was talking a minute about the depth CSI has. You lose Chadwick Myers last season. You lose. Bolger, you lose Bluchi McGlure, Jonathan Chadwick Myers, but they found a great deal of players to replace. Will Fonseca, Frankie Chitino, Della Hanti, just a great job of coaching and scouting by Coach Fatosa. Jamel Giss now with the ball for the Bulldogs. Throws it up to Steven Diaz, who's now in play for the Bulldogs. Now that is Lorenzo Williams for three! Shot no good. Nikovic is able to get the rebound, so the Bulldogs have a fresh shot clock. Diaz looked to fake again. Jamel Giss now holding. Giss knocks it to Satino, but they're going to call an offensive foul, and it's going to be Dolphins' ball. Frankie Satino did not give up on the play. He stayed with Jamel Giss throughout that whole possession, and he knocked down and was able to draw the hit from Jamel Giss. Let's take a look at it one more time. You see Satino backing up a bit, and then there's the charge by Jamel Giss, who got called for the foul. Substitution for the Dolphins. And Michael Tate is now in play, wearing number 32 in place of Eden Breakick. And Harry Hazen is now in play for the Bulldogs in place of Jamel Gist. Frank Satino for the Dolphins holding. Moving around. Find, tries to find uh, Fonseca, but it was blocked by Jablai. Now Harry Hazen brings the brush up. Exxon Jablai makes the basket. Nice work by Exxon Jablai for the Bulldogs. Now quick transfers to play up for the Dolphins. Satino now holding. He's going to slow things down. Bulldogs leading 15-9 to here at the West Quad Gymnasium. Tate, top of the paint to Satino. Now to Kuto for three, shot no good. Nikovic, all six foot nine of him, is able to get the rebound. Quick alley play, almost connected from Jabalai to Williams. But now Satino brings the ball up court for the Dolphins. Bounce pass to Tate, Tate, quick shot, no good. They're gonna call a foul on the play. It's against CSI, that's an offensive charge. And you saw Fonseca very upset with how that play came together. Foul's gonna be against number 32, Michael Tate. That'll be his first. Nicholas Grasso now in play for the Bulldogs, wearing number three. His sister, Jacqueline Grasso, playing in the game prior. Play resumes, and Nistakovic now over to Nick Grasso, who's gonna bring the ball up court. Grasso hands it off to Williams. Back to Grasso, almost lost it, but now Hazen's gonna hold on. He's in the guard, 6'1", sophomore from New York, New York, went to Millennium High School. Looking to make a play, gets away from Satino. Quick shot is good! <laughs> Harry Hazen with the friendly roll, and now his team is up 17-9, nearing the halfway point of this first half. Takunto throws it to Satino. Inside the pay, Fonseca, quick shot is no good, but there will be a foul on the play. Good play, though, by the Bulldogs to not allow Fonseca to get that drive to the net and draw the foul. And that's gonna put the Bulldogs at five fouls. Let's take a look at that play again. There's the pass out to, from Hazen, and just like a train riding down the rail, finds the Exxon Express, easy layup. Fonseca lines up for his first shot, and it's no good. Another substitution, Mohamed Marie is coming in 
for the bold, for the Dolphins in place of Delahanty. Mohamed Maria, the guard, 5'11", sophomore from Brooklyn, New York, went to Fort Hamilton High School. Just across the water from Staten Island. Fonseca getting ready for a second shot, and it is, gets a friendly roll, it's good. 10.43 to go, 17 to 10, Bulldogs leading. Hazen with the ball, feeling the pressure from Marie. She tries to get away from him, he does, crosses court, Williams looking to make a play, cross court pass to Diaz. Diaz, oh, off of his hand, out of bounds, and it's gonna be Bulldogs, it's gonna be Dolphins ball. That was an unfortunate turnover, and Coach McCallop, he wants a timeout, it'll be a 30 second charge timeout. 10 and a half minutes to play in the first. Brooklyn College leading 17 to 10. We're gonna send it over to our sideline reporter, Adam, who has this to say, but real quick, I just wanna make a quick note. Steven Diaz's sister is Jacqueline Diaz of the CSI Dolphins. We're now gonna send it over to Adam Lockley. What do you have to say? Right now, 17 to 10, Brooklyn College, midway through the first half. Uh, Brooklyn College right now, Having a little bit of trouble, not a lot of trouble with CSI star player Will Fonseca. He has eight of their ten points so far. But I think it's a good strategy so far because if Will Fonseca does all the scoring and they shut down everybody else, then they should be okay. Back to you guys. All right, thank you, madam. We're back here at the West Quad Gymnasium. Ten and a half minutes to play. Brooklyn College with a 17-10 lead. And you see Coach Tony Patoza having a chat with the official on the sidelines of some calls that have gone against CSI. He has not been very happy with them as the CSI Dolphins will take over with the ball. Tony Patoza, well-respected coach in Cuniac play. He's always done a really good job for the Dolphins. Now play resumes with Frank Satino holding, being guarded by Steven Diaz. Throws it to Marie, top of the key. Now to Kunto. Now uh, Michael Tate at the top of the key. Back to, to Kunto. Dolphins are moving around, not just the ball, but the positioning as well. About 10 seconds on the shot clock, Tino's gonna have to make a play. He guarded by Diaz, six seconds to go, already halfway uh, mark of this game, of this first half. Three point shot by Takuto is no good, but there will be a foul on the play. It's an offensive foul against CSI, and you could see the frustration on the faces of the Dolphins as Brooklyn College is not backing down from them. Fouls on Fonseca, that will be his first. Harry Hayes is now gonna bring the ball up court for the Bulldogs. Already past the halfway mark of this first half, but the Bulldogs are leading 17 to 10 in what has been a really tight matchup so far. Hazen throws it into the paint, Nikovic. Nikovic, hook shot is no good, and Fonseca is able to get the rebound for the Dolphins. Tino, quick transition play up. Top of the key, met by Diaz and, Gra and uh, Hazen. Now Marie holding. Back to Dakuto at the top of the key. Satino, uh, sideline. Marie looking to make a play, but they're going to whistle a foul. Second consecutive turnover tra by CSI. It was a travel, not a foul. Yeah, second consecutive turnover by CSI. And now you're going to see Delahanty re enter the game. Michael Tate will go to the bench. And right now, it, you just see that CSI looks very confused on the court, have not been able to really communicate with getting plays together. And Brooklyn College has been able to intercept at every corner of the way. Harry Hazen gingerly walks the ball across center court. Now hands it off to Lorenzo Williams. Williams along the sideline, being guarded by Will Fonseca of the Dolphins. Williams, now a quick floater, is in and out no good. Fight for the rebound, is able to take over. Now Satino pushes up court for the Dolphins. Almost cherry picked by Diaz. Marie elected not to shoot a three-point shot, he was all open. And inside the paint, Delahanty, being triple team, has to throw it back out to Marie for three! Shot no good, Hazen able to get the rebound for the Bulldogs. Hazen, almost cherry pick from behind. Diaz for three! He makes the basket! Three point shot by Steven Diaz is good and now the Bulldogs have taken a commanding 10 point lead here at the West Quad. One of the prolific three point shooters on this men's Bulldogs team and there we have a steal. They're gonna call a kickball. Oh, I don't know about that at all. McCallop isn't happy with it. You saw Brian Shea react to it. He said the ball was tipped. Shea believes it was a tip. It shouldn't have been a kickball. Marie throwing the ball at Grasso's feet and they were calling in a kickball against Grasso. So with 27 seconds on the shot clock, Dolphins gonna inbound the ball from the Bulldogs baseline. Marie for the CSI Dolphins, hands it off to Satino. Satino cross court to DeCunto, tried to get it to Fonseca in the paint, but it was blocked by Nicholas Grasso of the Bulldogs and into the stands. With authority as well from Nicholas Grasso. He 
This team is not backing down. They're making a strong case with CSI. Let's look at this again. Just look at this block like a spike in volleyball. Fonseca with a quick shot, no good. And there's going to be a foul on the play. Let's see who this foul is going against. It's going against the Bulldogs. It's going to be on Grasso. He'll be his first. Grasso is dangerous defensively, but he tends to get into foul trouble. Play is going to resume. Dolphins with the ball. Fresh shot clock as DeCunto is going to shout out orders and have his team set up. Frank Satino now holding, wearing number four. DeCunto in the corner. Bounce pass to Marie inside the paint to Lahanti and now back out to DeCunto. 20 seconds of the shot clock. Marie looked to make a play. Quick shot is good. 17.50 to, uh, to go, 20 to 12, Bulldogs leading. First points for CSI in the last four minutes. Harry Hazen trying to get away from Marie, hands it off to Jean Belay. Jean Belay for three, shot air ball, but is able to take over and now the Dolphins push up court. Satino inside the paint, shot no good. Del Hante there for the rebound, bounce pass to Takuto outside. And now they're gonna reset a little bit. Ponteca blocked by Diaz out of bounds and it will remain Dolphins ball with 22 seconds to go on the shot clock. You love how the Bulldogs are getting into the passing lanes, yet disrupting passes to Fonseca, breaking up the plays to their big players. Marie throws it to Satino. Satino inside the perimeter for two, shot no good. Fonseca with the rebound and he makes the basket. Took a very fortuitous bounce, went right to Fonseca at the right low post. Will Fonseca now with 10 points tonight, leading everybody on the court. Harry Hazen for the Bulldogs, throws it over to Diaz. Inside the paint, Nikovic, shot no good, but he gets his own rebound, turns and fires again, shot in and out, no good. Fonseco gets the rebound, and now the Dolphins push up court. Dolphins blocked by Hazen, they're gonna call an offensive foul, Bulldogs ball. Good play there by Diaz, just not quitting on the play, got right in the face of Fonseca as he got whistled for the foul and that's going to put CSI in the penalty. Let's take a look at that one more time. Here's Fonseca, and Hazen went right in front and drew the charge as the Bulldogs will take possession. And Fonseca already picks up his second foul, so you gotta be very careful if you're Coach Potosa to not let Fonseca pick up a third foul. It's not, it's not uncommon for Coach Potosa to take out Fonseca. We might see that soon. Play resumes, Harry Hazen for the Bulldogs, crosses the center court, being guarded by Marie. Throws it to Jambalai. Jambalai outside the perimeter, top of the key, looking to drive in, shot, and it's good. Bulldogs up 22 to 14. Satino brings the ball up court. We have a quick substitution for the Bulldogs. It's uh, Dennis Balsam, number 20, fan favorite, who's now in play for the Bulldogs in place of Lorenzo Williams. Marie for the Dolphins holding, gets it to Satino, top of the key. Fonseca inside the paint, turns, fires, beats out Balsam, but does not make the basket. And there's a scramble for the ball. Jabla is able to win it. And there's still a big scramble for it, but the Dolphins able to recover. Marie inside the paint, shot no good. And Jabla is able to get the rebound for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs now push the ball up court. Balsam for three, shot no good. And Takuto is able to get the rebound. Satino for the Dolphins. Satino holding. Gets it to Fonseca, shot no good, but there was a foul on the play. That will send Fonseca to the free throw line and just not the guy you want to draw fouls on. That foul's going to go against Exxon. That's going to be his first as Lorenzo Williams gets ready to check in. Let's take a look at this one more time. Fonseca went right to the post and Exxon bumped him a little bit at the right low post and drew the foul. So to the line will go Fonseca who already has 10 points in this game. Fonseca's first shot is good. We're going to see some substitutions. Eden Breikick is now back in play in place of Muhammad Marie. And now number 23, uh, Civ uh, Civiletti, is in play for the Dolphins in place of... He, repla sure. he replaces Muhammad Marie. No, Muhammad Marie is already replaced. I think it was... Uh, Fra no, Frank Satino is still Satine. in. So it must be Delahanty or... No, Delahanty is still there. Delahanty still in. So we'll get, we'll get the official confirmation for you soon. Hazen almost lost the ball, but Grass was able to recover for the Bulldogs. And now Diaz for three, shot no good. Satino is able to get the rebound. And there's a foul on the play. It looks like it's going against the Bulldogs. Harry Hazen, he knows he's at fault. He bumped into, bumped into Satino. Bulldogs are already in the penalty. That's their eighth team foul. 
and Jai Kelman's gonna come back in, so Coach McAuliffe wants to go with some more offense. Diaz will go to the bench. So uh, Civiletti is in place of, looks like Michael Tate of the Dolphins. So now Frank Satino is gonna line up for his two shots. First shot is good. So with 5.26 to go, Bulldogs leading 22 to 16. The pace has been very good though in this first half, Zach. You gotta love how both these teams are kind of scoring at will. Yes, it has. Second shot does not hit the rim, so it's automatically Bulldogs ball. Now we're gonna have Jamel Gist coming back in. He will replace, he's gonna replace Hazen. So now we have Lorenzo Williams, Dennis Balsam, Jamel Gist, Jai Kelman, and about to inbound the ball, Nicholas Grasso for the Bulldogs. Williams now throws it to Jai Kelman. Is he feeling the full court press from uh, Civiletti? So he's gonna, Gist pushes the ball up court. So over along the sideline, looking to drive in, hands off to Grasso. Now back to Kelman. Kelman looking to make a play to Gist, corner. Gist looks to drive in, they're gonna call a blocking foul. It'll be against CSI, that's gonna put them in the penalty now, so the Bulldogs will make a trip to the line for a one and one. Foul, I believe, is on Civiletti, and that's exactly who it will be on. Civiletti picks up his first. And a free throw coming for Jamel Gist, who started off the game 0 for 2 from the line. Getting ready for the one and one shot. First shot is good, so now he's gonna be awarded a second shot. Absolutely, as per rules of a one and one. So with 5.05 to go here in this first half, 23 to 16, Bulldogs leading. Second shot is good. So Gist takes advantage of the free opportunities. So about five minutes to go, Bulldogs up 24 to 16. Satino for the Dolphins. Gets it over to Civelli, uh, Civietti, excuse me. Civiletti. Getting the name confused, my apologies. Satino, bounce pass to Fonseca for three. Shot is good. Three point shot by Will Fonseca is good. And now the Bulldogs seeing their lead dissipate 24 to 19. Fonseca carrying the team on his back. Williams for three. Shot in and out, no good. And that was uh, break kick, was able to get the rebound. Quick test is play up, Fonseca, shot is no good, but there's gonna be a foul, it's gonna whistle for a travel, as there was a collision in the paint, but it looks like everybody will be okay. That play went so fast, Fonseca was just flying down the line. Very impressive abilities for a guy 6'5". And he kind of tripped over the leg, looked like of Jai Kelman. As he's back up, we're gonna have Exxon back in, and going to the bench will be Balsam. So for the Dolphins, we also see Thomas Delahanty back at play. So we'll, as play resumes, Jai Kelman with the ball for the Bulldogs. Hands it off to Jablai, almost fell out of bounds. Back to, to Kelman. Grasso now for the Bulldogs holding, bounce pass to Williams. Williams turns, looks to make a play. Fire shot is good, no good. But Exxon Jablai with the rebound makes the basket. Why? just how great has Exxon been since knocking down that early three in the game. Now he, he's really playing loose, and now he's playing his game. 11 points on the night thus far. Delahanty in the paint, makes the basket, and the foul. And just like that, CSI with a very quick answer, cutting the lead back to five. So Delahanty got the shot to fall. Foul's going against Lorenzo Williams. That will be his second as the Bulldogs are now one away. Let's take a look right here. This was the drive by Lorenzo Williams. He got the miss, but Exxon right there to tip it in at the left low post. 3.56 to go. So we're getting set for the second shot. It, it is no good. Now quick chances to play up for the Bulldogs. Kelman to Williams. Williams now over to Jambalai in the corner. Inside the paint is uh, Gist. Shot no good, rebound. And now the Dolphins able to take over. Satino, Satino inside the paint shot, no good. Jabla is able to get the rebound. Quick tries to play up. Williams beats out Delahanty, but shot is no good. And now Civil, uh, Civiletti takes over. Hands off to Satino, back to Civiletti. Fonseca, easy basket for him. 26 to 23. Bulldogs seeing their lead get cut short as Jamel Gis now holds the latest team set up. Gets uh, Jai Kelman to come back. Kelman, inside the paint, makes the play, makes the basket. 
Good move by Jai Kilman. Those are his first two points of the game. Less than three minutes to go in this first half. 28 to 23, Bulldogs leading. Delahanty, top of the paint, now to Fonseca. Top of the key is Civiletti. Satino over the sidelines, back to Civiletti. Civiletti drives, fires, and shot is no good, and Williams able to get that rebound. Jamel Gist drives in, shot is good. Nice work by Jamel Gist, is now Fonseca with the ball for the Dolphins. Quick chance to play up, Civiletti shot no good. Fight for the rebound. Wenzel Williams able to get it as Jai Kelman pushed the ball up court. 2.22 to go, Kelman for three. No, it's a two point shot, but he makes the basket. And Jai on the fly, answering right there for the Bulldogs. And now the lead is up to 10, a 30 second timeout by Coach Petoza of it, CSI. The score should be 32 to 23, because that was a two point shot yeah. by Jai Kelman. They got it, they and got it right. As a timeout Please, called, it. full timeout. And this has been an exciting game so far. We're gonna to go to the coach's huddle right now with Coach McCalla. Let's hear what 20, he has to say. We're in 52. 52, you hear me? 52. You're in the middle. You're on, you're on this wing. Get on that wing, Nick. You play on this side. All right? Next time down. Next time down. Let's run. Let's run swing. Okay? Run swing into a shot. They're gonna overplay the handle. Yeah, they're gonna overplay the handle. Hey. Attack Fonseca, he's got two fouls. Okay? Come on, y'all. Come on. Let's go. We are! Hawkins! 52. 52. 2.13 to go in this first half. Bulldogs leading 32 to 23 in what has been an exciting game thus far. Bulldogs going in, this is their redemption game. The next time got the 1,000 points. And now it's just been back and forth. You gotta love the energy both these teams are playing with. And the Bulldogs are not backing down at all from CSI. Takunto over the sideline, be guarded heavily by Jai Kelman of the Bulldogs. Throws it out to breaking. Now Satino for the Bull, for the Dolphins, holding. Getting away from the defenders, Takunto. We'll get you the substitutions in just a second. We know Anisha Nikovic is now in play for the Bulldogs. Looks like in place of Lorenzo Williams. Six seconds to go, Satino has to make a play. Breaking for three, shot in and out, no good. Fonseca is able to get the rebound, throws it a break for Satino for three, shot no good. And Delhati for the rebound, shot is still no good. There's still a scramble for it. Ball goes out of bounds and it's gonna be Dolphins ball. You gotta say for CSI without Will Fonseca right now, where would CSI would be down more than just nine points right now. They'd be in a very precarious situation and will be staying CSI ball, 133 to play. Fonseca inbounds the ball to Delahanti. Delahanti being guarded heavily by Grasso throws it out to DeCunto. Now Satino is gonna let his team set up. Delahanti to DeCunto, back to Satino. Satino being triple teams, he throws it out to Breakig, all low for three, makes the basket. Three point shot by Eden Breakig is good and now the Bulldogs leading 32 to 26 as they're seeing their, their lead get cut short. And CSI has had an answer each way. Bratchett's with the easy three right there. Grasso for the Bulldogs, hands it off to Kelman. Kelman looking to make a play, drives to the paint, shot is good. That was a tough basket for Jai Kelman. And it's stolen away by his Jabal Gist. Hands it off to Jabalai, cross court pass. Already less than a minute to go in this first half. Nikovic tried to get it to Gist inside the paint, but it was intercepted by Delahanti. And now with 43 seconds to go, Satino's gonna take over. Still a shot clock, there's 26 seconds to go on the shot clock. They're gonna have to make a play soon. And Satino still holds, he's gonna let his team set up. Satino's team is down by eight. Trying to get away from Kelman, getting the help from Delahanti in the paint. Underneath the basket is Fonseca, shot no good. Shot clock is off with 19 seconds to go. And it looks like the Bulldogs are gonna make the last play. Smart strategy there if you're the Bulldogs. You want to hold for that final shot. Do not give CSI a reason to hope. 10 seconds to go. Jamel Gist holding. Got five seconds now. He's going to look to make a play. Three, two. Kelman for three. Shot no good as the buzzer sounds. And that's the end of the half, folks, with the Bulldogs leading 34 to 26 in what has been a really strong performance thus far.
Welcome back to the West Quad Gymnasium, where at the end of the first half, the Bulldogs are leading 34 to 26 against their rival, College of Staten Island Dolphins. In the second half of this doubleheader, the, the Battle of the Verrazano. Zach Pudnick alongside Jonathan Pariente, Adam Lockley as a silent reporter, and John, this has just been a really big game, starting with redemption against CSI, then Exxon scoring as a thousand point. Yeah, it really just kind of allowed the Bulldogs to relax. Once Exxon got those three points, you saw his play really start to take off, and that's been signature of what Exxon's been all year. And you gotta coach, give credit to Coach McCullough for the turnaround of Exxon this year. And the rest of his teammates have followed suit. Jai Kelman, Lorenzo Williams, Valon Jambalik, Jamel Gist, all of them have carried this team to where they are right now at 16 and four. Now for the men's Bulldogs, can they finally defeat CSI for the first time in six years? It could happen, but at the same time, it's anybody's game. Yeah. The, Bull, the Dolphins, they have a lethal player that's always been playing in the paint, and that is Will well, Fonseca. Absolutely, and Fonseca off to that impressive start in the first half. He has 16 points. Everybody else, less than four points. shatino has been held very quiet. The rest of the offense has been held quiet. All right, as we're getting set to go, it's gonna be the same five starters for each team, for both the Dolphins and the Bulldogs. Starting with the Dolphins, number four, Frank Satino. Number 10, Will Fonseca. Number 20, Kari Rowlick. Number 22, Eden Breakick. And number 42, Thomas Delahanty. And for the Bulldogs, we're gonna have the same starting five. Number one, Jai Kelman. Number five, Valon Jambalik. Number 12, Lorenzo Williams. Number 15, Jamel Gis. And Mr. 1,000 point, number 23, Exxon Jambalai. And I think this is a good guy. These are the good five you want to have. The Bulldogs are continuing to mount the pressure on CSI. The question now for the Bulldogs is can they finish the game? They've had stretches where they haven't played 40 full minutes in a game. They have a good half. They have a good tail of halves. So they have a good first half. They could have a bad second half. Can they finish the second half on a positive note? Beat CSI for the first time since 2009. When these two teams played against each other in the second half, it was the, in the game early in January, it was the second half that was really tight, but CSI was able to capitalize. But starting with Exxon, John Belay missing the shot, and now the Dolphins are gonna take over. Frank Satino, over the top of the key, looking to make a play, hands off to Eden Breakick over at the sideline. Long court pass back to Satino. Satino holding, top of the key, break kick, around the perimeter they go, inside the paint, looks like Fonseca, shot no good. Jablai there with the powerful rebound as he breaks the ball up court. Jablai gets, hands it off to Kelman, who almost lost the ball, so scramble for it, but Jablai passes it down to Jablai. And then Williams for three, shot is in. Gets the friendly roll, so three point shot by Lorenzo Williams is good. And now the Bulldogs up 37 to 26 with already 50 seconds gone by in the second half. Very friendly bounce there for Lorenzo Williams. Bulldogs go up 11. Delahanty inside the paint, shot, and it's good. Just like that, Dolphins respond with a quick basket. Minute five has gone by in the second half. Bulldogs up 37 to 28. Giz, top of the key, hands it off to Jabalai. Inside the paint, quick pass to Kelman, makes the basket, and the foul. Beautiful passing by Exxon Jambalaj. Unselfish play. He finds Jai Kelman in the right low post for the easy layup. Kelman will go to the line. It's already a minute 45 gone by. Kelman's going to look to widen the lead. His team is already up 39 to 28. <laughs> Mahari Rolick was called for the foul. That's his second. Rolick we saw in the uh, first few minutes of the first half and then was taken out for the remainder of the first half. So we don't know how long he's going to be in the second half for. So now we're going to have play resume as Jai Kelman is going to get ready to fire his N1 shot. N1 shot is good. 40 to 28. Bulldogs leading with 18.45 to go in this second half. Satino let the ball roll in. Now he picks it up as clock starts to count down. Break it. Long court pass to Satino. Inside the paint is Delahanty being triple teamed, and they're going to call a foul of the play. Good play, though, by the Bulldogs. Getting up tight on the CSI Dolphins, drawing the foul. It's a good foul. It'll be the first team foul on the Bulldogs. Foul number two on Jamel Gist. Let's take a look at that. Here's Delahanty being triple teamed, and finally Gist had the put the arm in through the foul. Fonseca now with possession for the Dolphins. Quick to Rollick for shot is no good. And John Bly there for the rebound. It's long court pass, gets it over to Williams, trying to catch everybody off for three. Shot no good. Rollick's there for the rebound. 
Rollick now pushing up court for the Dolphins. Throws it to Satino, top of the key. Tries to get it to Delahanty in the paint, but now quick play. Kelman almost had a breakaway, throws it to Williams. Miss shot is no good, but there's a foul on the play. It will go against CSI. It's on Chitino. That's going to be his second. But nice work by Exxon Jambalai to get in the way of the lane to throw it up to Jai Kelman for the shot. Like the way the, the Bulldogs have come out. Let's take a look at Jai. Finds Williams down low and was able to draw the foul. So first shot by Lorenzo Williams. In and out, no good. Got to knock down free throws against the CSI Dolphins. Very dangerous late in games. So 18.05 to go. Bulldogs leading 40 to 28 here at the West Quad Gymnasium. Second shot is good. So now it's 41 to 28. Satino brings the ball up court. Almost intercepted by Kelman. Fonseca, quick shot, no good. Williams able to corral the rebound. And now the Bulldogs push up court. Kelman coming in from the right side. Hands, tries to hand it to Jambalik, but there's a foul on the play. Coach McAuliffe not happy with Jai Kelman there drawing that foul. That's gonna be Kelman's first. And CSI will take possession. Jai Kelman already with nine points this evening. Satino lets the ball roll in before he picks it up, and now play resumes. 17.50 to go in this second half. Rollick, top of the key, throws it to break it, and tipped by Williams out of bounds, so it will remain Dolphins' ball with 23 seconds on the shot clock. Good play, though, by the Bulldogs getting up on defense. Satino, play resumes. Gets over to Rollick. Rollick coming in from the left. Back out to Satino at the top. Inside the paint, Fonseca. That was an easy basket. 17.30 to go in the second half. 41 to 30. First points of the second half for CSI. Jai Kelman. Excuse me, Jamel Gist. Number 50, Jamel Gist. Hands off to Jai Kelman, number one. And now Williams. Over his uh, Jabalai, over the left side of the paint. Turns, quick shot is no good. And Will Fonseca is able to get the rebound. Satino pushes up court for the, for the Dolphins. Break it, all alone, almost shoots for three, but hands off to Fonseca. Around the perimeter they go, and now Satino holds. Satino for the Dolphins. Satino looking to drive in. Gets it out of Break it for three! Shot is no good over the backboard, and it's gonna be Bulldogs ball. I think CSI took one too many passes there. You look, it looked like Bracket, Bracic was open from downtown, did not take the shot, and instead the CSI turns it over. 16.40 to go in this second half, 41 to 30, Bulldogs leading. Lorenzo Williams now holding for the Bulldogs. Throws it to Exxon Jambalai. Exxon holding, Williams now with the ball. Williams looked to drive in, quick shot, no good. There's a scramble for the rebound. Bulldogs almost had it, but now Fonseca's gonna push up. It's over to Satino, beats Jambalai, shot is no good. Kelman's able to get the ball back. Three on two developing. Kelman drives in, shot, makes the basket. Nice work by the Bulldogs to get it back up court, makes the basket, 43 to 30, Bulldogs leading. On the fly is Jai, timely baskets by Jai Kelman. Bulldogs go up 13. 16 minutes to go in this second half. Satino, over along the sideline, cross court to break it. Now top of the key is Wallach will lose the ball, and now Kelman try to break away. Shot is no good, but there is a foul on the play. And now Jai Kelman is starting to take over in the second half, and there's a foul against CSI. It's on number 20, Rollick. That is his third, and now Coach Patoza has to make a decision with Rollick as he now has three fouls, and Jai Kelman will go to the line for two free throws. So 15.49 to go. Kelman going to take advantage of these easy baskets. First shot is good. So 44 to 30, Bulldogs leading, and that was Jack Kelman's 12th point of the night. He's now leading his team with 12. Second shot is good. So he gets both shots. Bulldogs now up 45 to 30, and their biggest lead thus far in this game. Coach Patoz is calling a quick timeout. He wants to talk things over. CSI is now down 15. It's a full charge timeout. So full timeout call, 15.43 to go, 45 to 30, Bulldogs leading. We're now going to send it over to the coach's huddle to hear what Coach McAuliffe has to say to his team. Coach, take it away. Get that, get that. Hey, we need to stop right here, okay? Down here, down here, let's run close. Let's run close. 
for Exxon. Jai, where are you, Exxon? Doesn't matter. Here. Zoe, Milan. All right? Mel, who do you make the pick to? You make it Zoe or Milan? Here, Milan, Zoe. Listen. No, it's Milan. Right over matter. here. Don't matter. Milan. Close. Oh, All right, now listen. It goes to this side. Exxon, it goes to Exxon's side. Goes to Exxon's side, right? Yeah. All right. So Exxon, fake going through and cut back door. And you'll have him with the back door. Jai, you got to lift. All right, you got to lift. Get out of the play. All right? Go, listen. Go all the way up here. Draw him. And drop. Listen. You two guys. I, I was looking at that play, but I really wasn't sure. I really wasn't sure what Coach Bacalf was trying to tell his team. What were you able to get I, out I of think it? he was just trying to direct his guys where they have to be. The Bulldogs were kind of getting a little too, how do you say, like a little too ahead of themselves a little bit. And he wants to just, you know, get them on the same page. The Bulldogs are playing phenomenally well in this game so far. They're taking it to CSI. You have to finish, though. That's going to be the big key. Can the Bulldogs finish this game against a very top opponent in CSI? Coach McAuliffe, really smart moves. His team has been really strong this season. They started to get some first place votes in NCAA play. Rollick with the quick shot. He makes the basket. First points of the game for Kahari Rollick. CSI down 13. So now Exxon is going to bring the ball court for the Bulldogs. Let's see if the, let's see what kind of setup they put together. By the looks of it, yes, it's going to be uh, Exxon and Kelman over at each corner. As Kelman, uh, Jamel Giz now with the ball holding for the Bulldogs. Jabalik lose the ball to to Fonseca, but is able to recover it again. Almost backcourt violation by Williams. A lot, a lot of scrambling going on in the Absolutely. court, but the ball goes out of bounds, but it will remain Bulldogs' ball. Yeah, it was a good play there for Jambalik to save it from Fonseca taking it away from him. So 29 seconds on the shot clock, 15.06 to go in this second half. Gist now in the paint, but throws it out to Kelman in the corner. Underneath the basket is Williams, off his hands, out of bounds, and it will be Dolphins' ball. Bulldogs have to be careful not to commit turnovers like that. Satino now brings the ball up court for the Dolphins. Be guarded heavily by Jai Kelman, pushing him out. Fonseca hands off to Rollick. Back to Fonseca. Tries to get it to break it, get the paint, but lose the ball. Satino's able to recover it. He steps out of bounds, and it's going to be Bulldogs' ball. And frustration on the CSI men's team is showing. Just haven't been able to finish plays, and Brooklyn College has been frustrating them at every end of the court. So Exxon John Bly is now going to inbound the ball for the Bulldogs at his own baseline. And he gets it up to Williams. Jai Kelman, but he's going to be whistled for a travel. Yeah, it was a very, very easy call by the official as Jai Kelman took a couple too many steps on that pass from Williams. Mishandled the ball as well. It was going to be a quick transition play up. You can see he was trying to get it to Jai Kelman, who's going to drive in for the easy layup. But nonetheless, play resumes. Frank Satino for the Dolphins, bring the ball up court. We've got 14.30 to go in the second half. Bulldogs lead 45 to 32. And Satito for three, makes the basket. Three point shot by Frank Satito is good. And now the Bulldogs are seeing their, their lead reduced to 10. Jamel Giss for the Bulldogs. Drives in, hands it off to Kelman. Kelman trying to deke out Rollick. Hands it off to Giss for three, shot no good. Rollick gets the rebound. And now Satito brings the ball up court for the Dolphins. Able to get away from Kelman. Inside the paint, shot no good, but there will be a foul on the play. It's going to be on Exxon. He had a good block on Frank Chitino. We're going to take a look at this play one more time as Exxon is back on his feet. Foul's called on him his second. Watch Chitino here at the left post, and Exxon came right in there and blocked it away, but the officials called the foul, and Chitino will shoot too. They're going to say that Exxon John Blay knocked into Chitino. So in the act of shooting, Chitino's going to fire one of two shots. First shot is no good, so this is a good break for the Bulldogs as they're seeing their lead get reduced, slowly but surely. But CSI's got to knock down the free throws to cut into the lead, and Brooklyn College has to maintain possession. So a 14-0-3 to go, Satino misses both shots, and the Bulldogs maintain their 10-point lead. Jamel Kiss brings the ball court for the Bulldogs. Kiss holding, now he steps out. He's gonna have his team move around a bit. So he's looking to make a play from the right. Quick hook shot, no good. Jabalik there for the rebound, but there's a scramble for it, and Delahanty's able to get it. Now Rowlick up with the ball. Two on one developing. And Fonseca tried to do the twirl, but does not make it. And now Jabal Gis pushes up to Kelman. Kelman for three. Shot no good. 
Big scramble, Kiss, Jabalik, there. Ball goes out of bounds, off of a Bulldog, and it's gonna be CSI ball. Well, Fonseca had an easy finish. He just, I think he showboated a little bit on that twirl, tried to go for the easy layup. Brooklyn College, though, could not take advantage on the other he side. He should have gone for the slam dunk. Everybody was feeling it. Substitution for the Bulldogs. Anis Nikovic is now in play in place of Valen Jabalik. So 13.22 to go. CSI with the ball. Rolick over at the far end, holding. Top of the key, break kick. Now Satino. Satino tries to drive to the paint. Tries to hand off to Dalhati. But now Jabalik pushes up court. 2-on-1 developing. Kelman to Jabalik. Almost the slam dunk alley -oop. But Lorenzo Williams able to finish the play. Good job by Pops cleaning up the mess on the pass from Ajay. Satino to Dalhati. Quick basket. Makes it. And now just like that, 10 points again. 47-37. Bulldogs leading. Pace is picking up here in the second half for both teams. 12.50 to go here in this first half, in the second half, excuse me. Jamel Kiss holding for the Bulldogs. Throws it to Jean Belay, far sideline. Now to Williams. Williams is driving to the paint, throws it out to Kelman. Kelman for three, shot no good off the rim. Fonseca there for the rebound. And now Satino is gonna push up court for the Dolphins. Satino in the paint, hands off to Rollick, underneath the basket, shot no good. Nikovic is getting the rebound, but there is a foul in the play. It's going against Brooklyn College. That will be their fourth team foul. It's going against number 12, Lorenzo Williams. That's his third. Let's take a look at this one more time. That was Exxon on the missed dunk, but Lorenzo Williams right there at the top of the post to finish the shot. Harry Hazen is now checked into the game, replacing Gist. And now Grasso checks in, replacing Lorenzo Williams. Play resumes, 12.25 to go. Quick shot by Delahanti is no good, and Nick Grasso is able to get the rebound. Jai Kelman slowly pushing up court, hands off to Hazen, he's gonna let his team set up. Hazen, bounce pass to Kelman, underneath the basket, hook shot, no good, but there's a foul on the play. Oh, Jai Kelman, he's clutching his hand. Jai Kelman might have gotten hit as he was hit as he went to the basket. He's down, he appears to be shaken up, now he's back up, he's, he's definitely in some pain. You wonder if he maybe got hit in the face. It looked like he may have taken a shot to the eye. Let's take a look and, oh, right there, yeah. Delahanti got a piece of him in the eye. So Kelman is okay. And we're gonna get free throws coming for Jai Kelman. The foul is on Delahanti. That will be his second. As we just saw, Michael Tate is getting ready to check in and play for the Dolphins. Curious to see who he's gonna replace. It might be Delahanti. As Kelman's first shot is good. Substitution, and yes, he is coming in place of Delahanti of the Dolphins. This could be big for the Bulldogs. You take their big man out of the game, and now the interior could be wide open. Bulldogs with an 11-point lead. Their biggest lead was earlier in the second half with 15. Second shot is good, so now their, their lead is up by 12. Satino's going to let the ball roll in before he picks up, and now play resumes. 12.08 to go. Bulldogs up 49-37 here at the West Clyde Gymnasium. That is Fonseca, hands it off to Tate. Now to Satino, looked like he was gonna take a quick shot. But Fonseca makes the quick basket instead. That gives Fonseca 20 points on the game. Harry Hazen for the Bulldogs. Brings the ball slowly up court, be guarded by Breakick. Hazen, hands off to Kelman, almost lost it out of bounds, but Kelman's able to recover. Kelman holding, throws it to Jean Belay. Jean Belay for the Bulldogs, fires for three! Shot no good. Nikovic able to get the rebound. John Bly back with it again. Kelman. Kelman holding. Now to Grasso. To John Bly inside the perimeter. Holding along the baseline. Drives in. Shot no good. And Satino is able to get the rebound for the Dolphins. 11-17 to go. Satino drives in. Blocked by Grasso. And now Kelman almost has a break. But they're going to call a foul on the play. And that's on Kahari Rollick. That is his fourth foul. And that's going to put CSI one more from being in the penalty with 11-11 to go. Still a good foul to take, otherwise Jai Kelman would have had a breakaway all alone. So with 11-11 to go, Bulldogs up by 10, as Grasso's gonna inbound the ball to Harry Hazen, but he's feeling the pressure for me to break it. But now he backs off, and now Hazen's gonna be able to bring the ball up court. Hazen drives to the paint, hands off to Nikovic, who can't get a shot off, but they're gonna call a foul on the play. That's gonna now put CSI at 16 fouls now with 11 minutes even to play. Foul's going against Michael Tate. 
That's his second foul. So CSI getting into some foul trouble. Let's take a look at the play once more. And here was Nikovic, and there's the shot there by Tate, who got called for the foul. Don't give up on the play. You never know what you can get out of it. So Anis Nikovic, line and fire for his first shot, and he makes the basket. Nikovic, right number 32, center, six foot nine, senior from Brooklyn, New York. It's a Midwood High School, right next door to Brooklyn College. So now Kari Rollick is gonna sit out, and back in play is number 24, Vincent DeCunto. Now Steven Diaz is getting ready to come into play, and he's gonna come in and place a Jai Kelman as Anis Nikovic's second shot is good. So with exactly 11 minutes to go, Bulldogs up 51 to 39. Satino picks up the ball, play resumes. Kuto, far sideline, back to Satino. Break kick, holding, being guarded by Diaz. Now Fonseca in the corner. Back out to break kick, 20 seconds on the shot clock. Inside the paint, Fonseca, bounce pass to Tate, and he makes the basket. Nice work by Michael Tate to make the basket for the Dolphins, and now his team is trailing by 10. Exxon job life for the Bulldogs, pushes up. Diaz looks not to take a shot. Hands around perimeter, they go. It's Harry Hayes at number 44 for the Bulldogs. They go heavily by breaking. Hands it off to, to Jablai for three. He makes the basket. Three point shot by Exxon. Jablai is good, and now the Bulldogs up 54 to 41. Satino. Timely hoop. Satino holding for the Dolphins. Hands off to Tate. Back to Satino. Satino being guarded by Hazen. Sino looking to make a play. He's got Takuto moving around. Now Takuto has the ball over the sideline. Takuto now moves up well outside the perimeter. Hands off to Fonseca. Quick shot is good. Right off the backboard. And now the Dolphins are trailing 54 to 43. Full court press being put on by the, by the Dolphins. Hazen can't seem to get out. Gets help from Nikovic. Official called it. Good play. Now Jablai inside the paint. Nikovic. Nikovic turns, fire shot is good. Anis Nikovic with the friendly roll, and now the Bulldogs up 56 to 43. Already past the halfway mark of this second half, with 9.23 to go. Takuto over the log, the sideline, being guarded by Diaz. Now breaking. Hands it off to Satino. Satino for three. He makes the basket. Three point shot by Frank Satino is good, and now the Bulldogs have seen their lead get cut short to 10. Nicholas Grasso now pushing up court for the Bulldogs. Grasso feeling the pressure from Tino, gets it away to Hazen. Hazen hits Breakick in the face, and they're going to call a foul against Hazen. Coach McAuliffe doesn't like it. Look at his reaction to the call. It didn't look anything like a foul to me at all, as we will have a substitution getting ready to check in. It's going to be Mohamed Marie checking in, and he will replace number 22, Eden Brach Bracic. Not sure what happened. Couldn't tell if there was actual contact or not, but nonetheless, break it, sell And here it, well. it is once more. Yeah, that was the little shove, and I think definitely it was a sell by Bratchett. A very good play by Bratchett to sell the hit, and Hazen gets whistled for the foul. So that is the second foul against Harry Hazen, the fifth against the Bulldogs in the second half. Play resumes. Takuto now holding, gets it to Marie, who's now in play for the Dolphins. Satino for three, makes the basket! Three-point shot by Frank Santino is good, and now the Dolphins are starting to cut down the deficit. 56 to 49, they trail. This is where CSI gets very dangerous. You gotta be able to get some baskets. Jambalai with the response is no good. Now Santino takes over. Now the Dolphins are gonna take advantage of this opportunity. Santino, quick shot, in and out, no good. Now play resumes. Hazen now with the ball for the Bulldogs. Hazen up to Diaz. Inside the paint, Nikovic all alone, makes the basket. And the foul as well. Chitino almost made an incredible move on the other end, but Nikovic was able to answer on the other end for the Bulldogs. 58 to 49, Bulldogs leading. Let's check out this replay. Beautiful pass, and there's Nikovic right down low, and what a good second half he is now starting to have. That's the third foul against Michael Tate of the Dolphins as he went in and hit Nikovic in the face as he was going up for the shot. So Nikovic is gonna get an opportunity for an N1 shot. Lorenzo Williams checks in, he will replace Exxon. You know, let's go back to that, just that previous play. Chitino hit two consecutive threes. He almost threw up a circus shot that almost went in on his end, but Nikovic answered, and now the Bulldogs go back up by 10. And one shot is good, 59 to 49. Bulldogs retain the lead. Nikovic in the line, in, in the middle of the lane to intercept the pass. 
And now Hayes had pushed the ball up court to Williams. Ball goes out of bounds off of Lorenzo Williams. And now it's going to be CSI ball. That is the fifth time we've seen Frankie Chitino make a turnover like that. He's been having a very rough game with the ball in this one. Frank Satino for the Dolphins. Hands it over to Marie. Back to Satino. Gets it over to Takuto. They move the ball quick. Fonseca holding, being guarded by Grasso. Throws it back out to Takuto. 18 seconds on the shot clock. Satino looking to make a play. Keeps backing out. Quick shot for three. They're going to say it was a two point shot, but it doesn't hit the rim. Goes out of bounds off of a bulldog. And it's going to be Dolphins ball. They're only going to have, though, 10 seconds to shoot. 7.37 to play. You gotta love the way the Bulldogs have come out and how they've played in this game so far. Satino throws it at a Dolphins player, but it went out, it went out, threw it to a Bulldogs player, excuse me, goes out of bounds, and it's gonna be Bulldogs ball. Here's the shot there by Satino. It was an air ball, and then there was the rebound from Tate, but Nikovic was able to knock it out of his hand. That was a good replay. Play resumes. Hazen hands it off to Grasso. Grasso, hook shot, makes the basket. Nice work by Nicholas Grasso. Now the Bulldogs are up once again by 12. Marie for the Dolphins, holding to, and throws it to Satino. Around the perimeter they go. Takuto looking to make a play, but steps back out. Satino drives in. Tate all alone, shot no good. And Nikovic able to get the rebound. Steven Diaz for the Bulldogs, looking to drive in. Tries to get it to Nikovic, but is intercepted by Marie. But they're going to call a foul on the play. And let's see what the officials say. It's on Nikovic. Saying it's against these Nikovic. That's the sixth foul against these, do these Bulldogs in the second half. So they have no more to give. Well, Nikovic's presence in this second half has been right there. You can see how he's helped this Bulldogs team, making some good plays, going to the basket, not afraid to take a hit. And let's see what happened. We saw that the, Bulldog the Dolphins were rolling the ball in. But now the uh, officials blew a quick whistle. Not shot sure clock. It's it something with the shot clock. I think the shot clock wasn't reset. Yeah, they're gonna have to change the shot clock. But there's 6:54 to go in this second half. The Bulldogs leading 61 to 49. They just added three seconds, so it's 6:57 now to play. 6:57. Okay. <laughs> the Calf having a little chuckle there on the sideline because I think they started the clock as the uh. ball was rolling in. Remember, uh, per basketball rules. Clock does not continue to count down until the person in the play picks up the ball. So you're, allowed, you're allowed to roll the ball in. Play resumes. Marie, Bulldog, uh, Dolphins moving the ball around all over the place as Satino tries to get a shot, and they're going to call a foul. It's going to be on Grasso. That will be his second. Didn't give up on the play there against Chitino, but that's going to now put Brooklyn in the penalty. That is their seventh. Both teams now are in the single bonus, and here is the play. Chitino kind of drew a little hit and then just fell backwards. We'll go to the line for two. So each team now one. with seven fouls. That shot is good. So one and one. So Frank Chitino is going to get an opportunity to fire a second shot. Bulldogs are up by 11 here at the West Cloud Gymnasium. This is the redemption game, the Battle of the Verrazano. Second shot is in and out no good. But the Dolphins able to get the rebound. Their shot is no good. And now the Bulldogs take over. Hazen. Over to Diaz, Diaz for three, shot no good. Nikovic for the rebound, he makes the basket, and the foul. Just standing in the right spot was Enos Nikovic, and he finishes the play off the miss from Diaz. He will go to the line, CSI cannot believe it. Fouls, go and let's take a look at it one more time. Here's the shot by Diaz, went off the side, but bounced right to Nikovic down low, and he was able to put it right in. The fouls against Mohamed Marie, that's his first. So the N1 shot is good. Nistakovic now with 10 points this evening. As the Bulldogs are up 64 to 50. Marie holding for the Dolphins. Throws it to Fonseca. Fonseca, quick shot is no good. Nikovic there for the rebound. Now Nicholas Grasso pushes up court for the Bulldogs. Grasso throws it back to Diaz. Now Hazen holding, he's gonna let his team set up. 22 seconds on the shot clock, 6.08 to go in the second half. Lorenzo Williams for the Bulldogs is now in play. Throws it to Diaz for three, he makes the basket! Three point shot by Steven Diaz is good and now the Bulldogs have their biggest lead of the game, 67 to 50. Marie, now for the Dolphins, inside the paint, fire shot, no good. Scramble for the rebound, but Nikovic's able to throw it to Hazen. 
Hayes in for the Bulldogs. He's going to let his team set up. He's going to slow things down. And he throws it behind him to Lorenzo Williams. Now Grasso back to Hazen. McCollum shouting out orders. He's going to make his team move around quickly. Nikovic almost lost the ball. He's able to get it back to Diaz. 4-3. He makes the basket. Three-point shot by Steven Diaz is good. And now the Bulldogs lead is big. 20 points. I have never seen the Bulldogs play like this. And you could feel the energy here at the West Quad. Coach CSI calls a timeout. You see the frustration on the face of CSI. They have never been in a situation like this before. We're going to see this replay. Check this out. Look at Diaz just, again, all alone. And Diaz, I think he's one of the best three-point shooters in CUNYAC play. You give him open space, he can drill that three-point shot. And we're going to go to the coach's huddle with Coach McAuliffe and the Bulldogs. Hey, right now we're good. We make a stop here. We don't have to, we can, we can, hey listen, we can eat some clock, okay? We can eat some clock. I wanna go four out, one in, okay? Four out, one in. So we got Nick, we got Harry, we got Diaz, we got Zoe, and we got Anise, all right? Listen, you pass, come through, come over, come up, exchange, all right, replace. Yo, at any time, get the ball to Harry. He's gonna break his man down, right? You be ready with your hands up. You gotta, you gotta throw it up to him. They gotta gamble the shield. Yes. Yo, St. John's on the press. St. John's on the press. Yo, last five minutes, you gotta go. Oh, oh. oh. Shit, you the ball. Shit, the ball. We are. 52 right here. We're back here at the West Quad Gymnasium. Bulldogs with a commanding 20 point lead, 70 to 50, with 5.18 to go in what has been an exciting second half thus far. This play now is going to resume with Edith Breakick, who's now in play, back in play for the Dolphins, inbounds the ball, and the, Bull, uh, the Dolphins are going to be moving the ball around really quickly. Satino now with possession. Satino trying to get into the paint, throws it back out around the perimeter. They go to DeCuto. And Tate, cross court pass to Satino. Tries to get an alley you play to Fonseca, can't connect, scramble for the ball. Nikovic is able to get it for the Bulldogs, and now Lorenzo Williams is going to push up court. Bounce pass to Diaz. Diaz holding. Bounce pass to Hazen. 4.46 to go. 20 point lead for the Bulldogs. Biggest lead tonight. Lorenzo Williams now holding, throws it to Hazen. Looks like they're going to keep moving the ball around. They're going to let time tick down with 12 seconds on the shot clock. Hazen. Back out to Williams. Williams almost lost the ball. Fonseca almost stole it from him, but now they have to make a quick play. Five seconds to go. Grasso over to Diaz. Diaz, quick shot is off the rim. No good. Hayes up there for the rebound. Then Grasso there for the rebound, but now the Dolphins able to take over. Quick thinking by the Bulldogs, but now Satino for three. Shot no good. And there's a scramble for it. The rebound in the paint. Diaz is there, throws it out to Williams, and now he's going to push up court. Williams, he's got Takuto in front of him, shot is good, and the basket! Blocking foul on CSI, and listen to this crowd at the West Quad Gymnasium. The Brooklyn College Bulldogs have come out and lay it the smackdown on CSI. Look at this move by Lorenzo Williams, and there's the hard shot by number 12, and we got a technical foul now just called, and it's on number 24. That's against Vincent Takuto. And he's been very upset with some calls. CSI has been very frustrated. Earlier on, before the, the last time out, you saw him and Fonseca kind of getting into a little jawing match. And DeCunto very upset as he's going to the bench. And Zach, I, I have never seen CSI in all the years I've seen them frustrated to this extent. And you, you've never seen this from this team before. Yeah, he was definitely not happy with the call against him beforehand. The first shot by Steven Diaz is no good for rules, technical fouls. Uh, they, the other team gets two shots, not challenged, and they get the ball back. In possession. Not to mention, Anistakovic still needs to shot, yeah. fire his end one shot. Bulldogs have been great from the free throw line today. 13 for 17 from the free throw line. The Bulldogs have continued to mount the pressure on CSI, and they are well closing in on their first win. You can see DeCrypto, he is yeah. still livid. Can, you definitely can see it on his face, and... Right now, DeCunto is going to have a seat on the bench, not happy with the way CSI has played in this second half. 
as my, Lorenzo Williams will take the free throw. My apologies. It is Lorenzo Williams who's firing his and one shot, and it's good. But in this case, it looks like the Dolphins are going to get the ball. So quick substitutions. Number 33, uh, Jasin Kob uh, Kobovic is in play, and back in play is Kari Rolick. But the Bulldogs take over again. Three on two developing. Hook shot by Lorenzo Williams is good. So 76 to 50. That's a foul on the Kovic, and that was Coach McAuliffe telling him to kind of ease up. Not a big deal. The foul was called on the Niko on the Kovic. It's going to be his third. Oh, it's on Laurent. Yeah, it's on number. It's on Laurent. It's his third. Yeah, third foul on the Kovic. And we're going to see Chris McElhatton come into the game. The Aussie taking over for Pops. And what an ovation Lorenzo Williams is going to get as he gives a hug to Diaz. And here comes free throws for Frank Chitino. So first shot by Chitino is good, so he's going to get a second shot. Chris Macklin for the Bulldogs. The guard, 5'10", sophomore from Toowoomba, Australia, went to Dallin's College before coming here last season. Yeah, and he's a very good player, McElhatton. You give him the time, he really can be an impressive starter on this team one day. Second shot is no good. So now Steven Diaz for the Bulldogs, pushes up court, gets to Grasso. Now Hazen is going to slow things down with 3.33 to go in the second half. Bulldogs with a commanding 76-51 to 51 lead. Biggest lead of the game, 25 points. McElhatton now with possession to Hazen. They're going to keep cycling the ball around. They're probably going to take a shot at the last second. But now Hazen looking to drive in. Now McElhatton for three. Shot no good. Hazen with the rebound. And back to McElhatton. Fresh shot clock. Diaz now holding for the Bulldogs. Diaz. And there's a foul on the play. Bulldogs trying to take as much time as they need to off the clock, which is a good strategy. Foul's called against Bracic. It's going to be his first. And CSI is now over the limit. That's their 10th foul. And Diaz will go to the line for two. It's very apparent the Dolphins are getting a bit frustrated mm. in this second half as the Bulldogs have been able to widen the lead tremendously. As the first shot by Steven Diaz is good. We're going to see fan favorite Dennis Balsa come into play and Neve Confino uh, for the Bulldogs. Neve Confino wearing number 22. He's the guard 5'9 freshman from Tel Aviv, Israel. Went to Walworth Babor High School. And number 20, Dennis Balsam, forward 6'4", junior from Brooklyn, New York, went to Leon M. Goldstein High School. Very speedy point guard is Niv Confino. And definitely we'll see more of him in this remaining uh, the remainder of the game. We get a whistle. And we're going to have a foul on the play. It's against Brooklyn College. And it's on Niv Confino as soon as he got on the court. That's his first. Not happy with his positioning, but nonetheless, it's going to be Frankie Satino who's going to line up for his two shots. It's going to be one and one. So if he makes the first shot, he'll get a second opportunity. First shot is good. So with 3.03 to go, 78 to 52, Bulldogs leading. Chitino really has picked up the points in the second half. Will Fonseca on the bench as Chitino knocks down the second free throw there. And the Bulldogs have held Will Fonseca to six points in this second half. So Niv Confino now with possession for the Bulldogs. Pushes up to Macklehatton all alone. Hook shot makes the basket. Excellent tic-tac-toe play by the Bulldogs, and now they're up 80 to 53. Hook shot by Chitino is good, and the foul. Good move to the net by Chitino. So 80 to 55, Bulldogs leading in what has just been a dominating performance by the Bulldogs. So each team now with 10 fouls against them as Frank Chitino is gonna line up for two shots, and he elects to throw it so he can get a rebound, and his team does get the rebound, and he makes a basket. So smart play by Frank Satino to deliberately miss. But now the Bulldogs take over. Harry Hazen throws it to Diaz. Diaz is going to be challenged heavily by Brakic, but he's able to get away from him. 2.33 to go. Diaz get away from his defender. Bounce pass to Hazen, but loses the ball. Able to recover. It's not backcourt violation because the Dolphins had some kind of possession. And now Hazen. Throws it to Confino. Dolphins, they're losing time. They're going to be challenging at all costs. As Confino drives in. Shot is good. Gets the friendly roll and the foul. Just good patience by Niv Confino driving right to the paint. And, you know, this is good strategy by the Bulldogs. You want to take time. Let's look at Confino, the speedster from Israel, and just a beautiful finish and got the friendly roll. Fouls called against number 22, Bracic. It's his second and he will go to the bench. In comes Civitelli, and back in will be 
And Fiorello, I believe, has checked into the game too. For C uh, Kapovic has come back in for CSI. Also, we have number five, Kevin Swanberg, who's in play for the Dolphins. Guard, five foot ten, junior from Staten Island, New York, went to St. Peter's High School. We might have another substitution uh, very quickly for the Dolphins, and yes, we do. Number 21, Kevon Murphy, is seeing action for the first time. Forward, six foot five, freshman from Brooklyn, New York, went to secondary school for law before joining CSI Dolphins. So Swanberg is now going to push up, throws it over to uh, Civil Civiletti, excuse me, and he got it knocked off and has lost it out of bounds. So Harry Hazen for the Bulldogs is going to take over. 2.05 to go. Bulldogs up 83 to 57. What has been the redemption game for the Bulldogs? Absolutely right. Six years in the making for the Bulldogs. Long overdue, and it's wonderful that they're going to be able to end it here at the West Quad in front of their fans, especially with Exxon John Bly reaching 1,000 points at the beginning of the game. Harry Hazen with the ball for the Bulldogs. A minute 40 to go in this game. Hazen being triple teams as he throws that to Hatton, but loses it to Civiletti. Civiletti throws it to Murphy, who gets a shot off, makes the basket, and the foul. Not giving up on the play was Kevon Murphy. He went right to the post and finished. Coach McAuliffe wasn't happy with the foul. Foul's going to go against Balsam. That is his second. And now we have a substitution. Justin Ritter is now in play for the Dolphins in place of number 20, Kari Rowlick. Ritter guards six foot freshman from Queens, New York, went to Valley Stream Central before joining CSI. Shot is no good. And now McElhatton all alone, the breakaway. Shot, no good. But Murphy's got the rebound. Civiletti with possession for the Dolphins. <clears throat> Throws it to Swanberg, back to Civiletti. Inside the paint is uh, Kobovic. Quick shot by Murphy is good. Minute 10 to go, 83 to 61. Nice Nicole, uh, excuse me, that was uh, Niv Confino now with the, for the Bulldogs. Hands off to Steven Diaz. Diaz top of the key. Less than a minute to go in this second half. Confino throws it to Diaz. Bulldogs moving the ball around. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Confino still holding. Confino now he has 10 seconds. Confino looks to drive in, does not make a play. Diaz for three. Shot no good. Balsam almost there for the rebound, but now the CSI Dolphins able to take over. 35 seconds to go in this game. Bulldogs with a an outstanding 83 to 61 lead. Ritter hands it off to uh, Kabovic. Shot is good. Shot clock is off with 27 seconds to go. Bulldogs leading 83 to 63. And Nikovic now, uh, uh, excuse me, that is uh, Kafino now holding with 15 seconds to go. Confino still holding. Now less than 10 seconds to go. They're on their feet at the West Squad Gymnasium as this one is going into the books. Here's the final seconds, tick off, final score, Bulldogs winning! Bulldogs win, 83 to 63 in a long overdue redemption win. Bulldogs finally defeat CSI at West Quad for the first time in over six years and the Bulldogs will stay undefeated at home. Exxon Jambalaj picks up his 1,000th point, and that's a feel-good moment for the men's Bulldogs as they will go in to face a very competitive York College Cardinals team next week in Queens. And York Carl College Cardinals, I believe they are the defending CUNYAC yes, champs of last season. And they knocked off CSI to win the CUNYAC title. Very big rival of Brooklyn College, and that will be a very important game on February 3rd. Fans, when we come back, we're going to have interviews with player of the game, Exxon Jabalai with his 1,000 points. You're watching BCTV with the Bulldogs winning 83-63. to We'll be right back. All right, I'm here with the newest member of the 1,000-point club in Brooklyn College history. Uh, Exxon, how does it feel to get that milestone in just your junior year? I feel great. I've been working hard. When you work hard, everything pays off, and I'm, I feel I feel good to be on that thousand point with a lot of other great players. In the second half, you guys did a much better job on their star player, Will Fonseca. Only six points in the second half. What was the key to finally shutting him down? He's one of their top scorers on their team, so coach just told us to just watch him because 
other players on their team are not, not really a threat. So we just stuck to him and stuck to the game plan. Uh, the next two games will be on the road against York College and Hunter College. You guys have struggled a little bit on the road. What's it going to take to play well away from the West Quad facility? This gave us just uh, another en energy to our thing. We just got to go practice, get everything together, then we'll be good. Trust me. All right, thanks, Exxon. Congratulations. Thanks, I appreciate it. I'm here with head coach Rich McCall for the men's Bulldogs. Coach McCall, very impressive victory here. Your first win against CSI since 2009. How does it feel to be a team like this, top in CUNYAC play and defending CUNYAC champion? Well, these are the games that you know we have to win if we're going to make you know a run in the tournament. Um, I thought we were struggling this week. Uh, we had a great practice last night. Uh, the guys were pumped up, you know, after the Lehman loss, and they really took it upon themselves that, you know, we lost to them out at their court. So this was a big win for us. They were a very good team. Eggs on John Balazs reaches 1,000 career points. Uh, plateau, very few players have reached, including you yourself, Coach. Uh, talk to me about how far Exxon has come as a player going into this season. Well, I, I've only really had the opportunity to see him this year, but... You know, he's really come so far in his progress since day one. And, you know, he understands what his role is. Um, he, he's a team player. And, you know, he, he's just got great athleticism. And, you know, he can really turn it on when, when he gets going. And uh, he, I, I'm just proud of him tonight to get his thousand point and get that monkey off his back. Your next game will be February 3rd against very competitive and defending CUNYAC champion, the York College Cardinals, a team that's had a rich rivalry with Brooklyn College over the past years. Talk to me about how you guys are going to prepare for that tough team under Coach Ronald St. John. Well, well, you know, we, we had a good game here against them here, you know, but now we're going on the road, you know, and it's always tough to win on the road. You know, York is an excellent, excellent team, you know, well coached. We're just going to try to prepare like we prepare every game and hopefully we'll be ready. Coach McAuliffe, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. All right, we'll send it back. We'll be back after this. We are back here at the West Quad Gymnasium. Final score, Bulldogs winning 83-63. to It would have been an all-highlight reel game for the Bulldogs, starting with Exxon Jabalai with his 1,000 points. Oh, it was just a tremendous moment for Exxon. Here's the three he knocked down. Very amazing moment for him. Here is the block by Exxon right after he scored that point. The Bulldogs, it was all Bulldogs for the whole game. Look at the steal here by Hazen. And then riding down the rail was the Exxon Express on the beautiful pass from Hazen. And Exxon finished the play down low. And that was just the beginning of things to come for the Bulldogs. Here's Steven Diaz who knocked down really the two deflating threes for CSI. And then here is Pops right in the post. Exxon there to finish the play. And then Exxon again around Fonseca had the shot blocked. But you love the way Exxon came out and played this game. Chitino then drove, bad pass. There's a steal by Jai Kelman. Everybody got involved as soon as Exxon scored his thousand point. There was Grasso on the easy finish. And then here's the air ball. The Bulldogs just continued to play relentless defense on a very dangerous CSI team. Zach, I'm going to send it back to you. It, it was definitely just all around performance for the Bulldogs. Well, final score 83 to 63. Bulldogs winning it here at the West Five Gymnasium. And we're going to wrap things up here for Adam Blackley, Jonathan Pariente, our entire BCTV crew. I'm Zach Budnick. So long, folks.